Hello everybody, this is Sister's Intuition. My name is Shelly. Thank you for clicking on my video. I'm going to be doing the sign of Gemini for the month of May. So if you have Gemini in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, they could be messages in it for you. However, these are general messages. Take what resonates, leave out what does not. Uh, everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. If anybody would like to get a personal reading, um, one, two questions, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, uh, all that is down there in the description box below with a number that you can call me directly. There's also a PayPal for anybody that like to make any donations or get a reading. Uh, as always, please don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Thank you all for helping me keep this channel growing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, God bless you, peace, love, and light on your journey. All right, you can follow me on Facebook, Shelly Evans. I go live there each and every day. So if you want to catch me live, go over and hit the follow button, and you'll get notified when I go live. And you can also catch me on TikTok, Sisters Intuition. Let's see what we got going on. All right, what we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Shit. All right, Gemini. So, some of y'all could be going through a period of illness and depression. So, y'all need to make sure you're taking care of your health. Okay. Uh, we have the dog barking. So, you could be getting advice from a friend here. Okay. We have the bird perched. So, you know, you could be awaiting news or a package or a letter. We have the four-leaf clover. So there's good fortune uh, and um, good luck here. We have the crib. So there could be a pregnancy or a um, you could be starting a new business. You know, the butterflies, so you're taking a change for the better. October could be significant for you. Something could have happened in October or, you know, and then we have the cat. You know, you're dealing with a two-faced friend so be careful because you know but we have the, the unicorn on the bottom which is telling you to use your intuition in order to make beneficial change in your life so that's what you're doing you know you want your life to get better right now but you need to be careful of the two-faced friends because yeah they that ain't no good all right shit here we go again shit blowing at work all right scorpio summer scorpio shit could be dealing with Scorpio. Gemini. Gemini. Summon Rising Venus for the month of May. Hand me that card over. It just flew. Gemini. Summon Rising Venus for the month of May. I'm out in the park and I got cards falling over. All right. We got the torch. So you're going through. The torch is like you're going through this spiritual awareness, this First development. Time. Uh, the dolphins, so there is something, some kind of financial gain coming in from something that you did in the past. You've been working on this for a while, and now, you know, the financial gain is coming in. You know, you're going through this enlightenment, you know, you got a different awareness. You know, you're looking at things differently, and, you, you know, you're getting close to spirit and the divine, and you are going through this, uh, you know, awakening and enlightenment period, okay? We have the broken bridge here, so, you know... What a, you had some kind of plan that you thought was going to work, but at the end of the day, it did not, okay? You found out this person was two-faced, and, you know, your intuition was telling you this, but you found out, you know, this could have happened back in October. You found out somebody was two-faced, and, you know, whatever you thought you had, it was unsuccessful, right? All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise of Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise of Venus for the month of May. Come on, man. Hand me that other one, Trevor. It just flipped over again. Okay, we got the axe. So you have, you need to protect yourself and defend yourself. You got the axe. You've got somebody that's definitely working against you. And we have the mountain road. So you're on your road. You're on your way to success. But the chair is empty. Somebody is definitely leaving your life in the box. Okay, so, you know, you, you got the tiger here. So you, this right here is like Leo energy. The tiger is the lion. You know, you're doing something risky. You're getting out here and taking a chance. But you need to be careful, shield, and defend yourself because somebody is most definitely working fucking against you. What I'm doing, I'm reading it. Okay, but that's not my problem. She's not the kid. Scorpio. Oh, I keep saying Scorpio. Somebody's dealing with a Scorpio. Gemini. Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. 
Uh, we have Scorpio. Well, I tell you, I've been saying Scorpio this whole time. Look what come out of Scorpio. So, yeah, some of y'all are dealing with a Scorpio. Um, somebody's holding some secrets here. Somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio. But this Scorpio could be holding secrets. Nonetheless, this person is holding secrets. And somebody's had, had a lot of secrets, but they use these secrets in order to gain power, okay? Somebody's wanting to come back and try to fix something with you that's already over. Um, yeah. Somebody's want to come in here and try to fix something. But they're secret. This person has a lot of secrets, okay? All right. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of May, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Yes, the moon. So the moon, you need to defend yourself, okay? Gemini, you're coming out. Gemini's on the bottom, okay. Um, okay. You got some people um, out here, real bald faced. They think they know. God dang, get that card. place for it gets blows away this is a bad idea come to the park and try to read cards i ain't doing this crap no more anyhow um okay we got the moon so you need to defend yourself now uh for real i guess this person because they're working against you they could be working against you in the moon cycles because it's saying you need to defend yourself you, you know you could be feeling some type of way you need to let your feelings and how you feel tell you what's going on and there's some things that you need to accept but you do need to defend yourself and then right here on the bottom you need to be careful about what you are letting be known because you do have people that's working against you uh it's believed about there's people that thinks they know but people don't know shit and you're using the quickest way okay you got some you're attracting good things to you um, yeah, the seventh house is like, this right here could be around relationships, partnerships, like in business. But at the end of the day, you are defending yourself because you just want a fair fucking deal. You could have been, you know, could have been in a relationship with this person or been working with this person. This person has a whole lot of fucking secrets. And you're just, you need to defend yourself. You know, you could be feeling it's like somebody's working against you. And I'm telling you right now, they are. Um, they are most definitely are working against you. So you need to use your intuition most definitely when it comes to this, okay? All right, let's see. Please don't blow away. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Yes, yeah, somebody's wanting to come in here and give you a dirty offer. Yeah, these people are pretending to be your friend or pretending to like you, but this person, they don't. They're trying to come in and give you a dirty-ass offer. What else for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May? Yeah. This person is set back with her head in the clouds, okay? But Spirit is saying this person is a wolf in sheep's clothing. This person is pretending like they're all so good and they're all compassionate and they're on your side, but Spirit is letting you know that this person is not. Uh, you could have given this person money or helped this person make money, but this person always want to party and have play too many fucking games. And this person acts, God dang it. Hang on a minute. Damn, I got some cards going everywhere. Please don't fucking blow everywhere. Hang on, y'all. Bad idea. Yeah, this person's always playing too many fucking games and wanting to party. This person's immature as fuck, okay? They just, yeah, this person don't want to grow up. They're immature. They want to party and play too many damn games. But they always want you to help them, you know? And they want you to see them in some type of way where you'll just help them and give them money and stuff as they need it. God dang, please stop. All right. But this person is very cold. Towards you. I'm going to put these cards up. It's just ain't going to work. Hang on just a minute. I got those out anyway, so let's put these back in the bag before I lose all of them. Shit. I ain't doing this no more. The wind's blowing. Shit going everywhere. All right. So the moon. Okay, the moon will reverse. So whatever this person was keeping secret ain't a secret anymore. You know what time it is. You know? God dang, man. Y'all overlook me. I'm trying to get this to freaking set here. Okay. 
Lord, come on, man. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May. Yeah, okay, you could, somebody could be, okay, you getting evidence. Somebody could be trying to get some evidence or something, you know, um, hmm. Yeah, somebody could be dealing with some legal issues, could be dealing with courts, judges, lawyers, immigration, and somebody's dealing with some bad karma right now, okay? Uh, and now this person's got bad karma, you know, they want to come in and give you this love offer and chase you, but Spirit's saying, this person, you know, they, 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 you, you keep shining, no matter what they've done to you, and they fucking can't stand that, okay? Um, yeah. This person's definitely dealing with some legal issues. So there could be some kind of evidence and proof here uh, about legal. Okay. What else for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May. God bless. Yes, this person's definitely in their head. They're stressed out. They're in their head. They're overthinking, uh, overanalyzing. So, yeah, they're overthinking really bad. Um, yeah, this person's holding a grudge. So this person is mad and definitely holding a grudge because you rejected this person, okay? Or they got rejected, okay? This person right here is a forcer. So they could be coming to try to come in here and force their way on you. They want things to go their way. And this person is, they're really holding a grudge because they're dealing with these legal issues. They're dealing with this bad karma. And now this person is mad um, because you're rejecting them. They don't know what to do right now, pretty much, what I'm saying. All right, let's see. Put those in there. Every time I shuffle them and put them in the bag where I ain't got to chase them across the thing here. Okay. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May. This person wishes things could be different, okay? And they're saying that they love you. So this person is saying they love you and they wish things could be different. And now this person is starting to understand your connection. Um, hmm. What else for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May. Gosh. Okay, and this person knows that they messed everything up, okay? And y'all could have had some kind of fight or argument uh, before this ended, and this person is saying they remember every detail of that day. And this person says, I left you before you could leave me. So this person could have left you for a third party, but they're claiming, aka, they've done this before you could do it to them. And you speak to this person through music. So this person could be listening to music, and they could be... Um, Thinking of you during the music here. Put these back in the bag and grab the other dick. It's hot out here. Thank you. It's three next time for I come recording videos. All right. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of May. So 10-10, this shit is definitely over. This person is going, could have stabbed you in the back and betrayed you, but this person is going through a lot of struggles. You know, you could have been over backwards for this person and tried to help them. This two of cups in a relationship. There could be a pregnancy here, the Empress, okay? Uh, they could have got a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn female. Uh, they could have been communicating with this person, could be a baby mama. But the tempers, they could have been, went and reconciled with somebody in the past and stabbed you in the back. And this person is aware, magician. They're aware of what they've done to you and they're in regret. And the emperor is Aries energy. And it's like you're taking, you know, the, you know you're know, you just standing in your power, you know. Um, could be a father figure too. But, you know, you just want stability here. You're working for your family, your success, romance. So, yeah, this person, Gemini energy coming out, this person had a lot of options, okay? 
page of cups. You could have children with this person or this person could have children with this third party here. Uh, the seven of swords. So this person lied to you, uh, hid stuff, uh, talked shit about you. But this could be your twin flame. You know, they, they understand this connection. This person is really stalking you, page of swords. They could be wanting to send you a message because they see that you've took this new start. You know, they, full, they see you're going in another direction and the four of cups is like everything around them. They're having a lot of they're having a lot of issues and now you know i think they're looking at it now and seeing that maybe you was a blessing uh and they didn't realize it at the time and now they're sad because you know they see that you're going towards stability you're going towards some kind of success here financially um yeah and this person is watching you do this they're watching you boss up you could be starting your own business or going back to school whatever you're doing but nonetheless you're making some kind of money and they're watching you do this seven of pinnacles you know you could have invested some time with this person could have been years um, but you know you at the end of the day you know regardless of what time you spent with this person or if you had a family with them you know to us Two of Swords, you just had to make a choice. You know, it could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is somebody that, you know, you just had to be wise. You know, you had to, you know, think very clearly and just take action, and you just decided to go on your own. And, you know, you just had to buckle down, and, you know, you're doing good, you're disciplined. Could be dealing with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or have it in your chart. You know, you're uh, leveling up, you're uh, leveling your vibration up, and you're just exerting yourself. And the Knight of Cups, you know, your wishes is getting fulfilled, your life is getting better, and you just want to stay away from the drama and the conflict you got time for. You're moving forward, sign of cancer. You know, uh, you're going towards your ambitions and goals. You're charging ahead, and the death card, you know, you're ending this stuff, Scorpio, and you're going through this transformation and change and justice. Somebody is got, getting karma right now. Could be dealing with a Virgo. They're doing a lot of soul searching. Uh, and you know they're they're trying to you're going towards your stability king of Pen you could be going towards your uh, king of pentacles towards virgo capricorn uh because you you're looking at this you, you see that you're going towards a person that's a king of pentacles or you are just going towards stability right you're getting disciplined going towards um yeah you're going through you know the battle so whatever you've been doing the the sun is here it could be in the spotlight but you've been going through a battle you know it's been like you've been doing this for a while and you feel like feel like nothing was happening but there is success definitely coming in the sun could be in the spotlight like i said and this is going to happen fast the tower and the page of pentacles you know you had to release this person because you know you had to release this person and change, you know, you're getting more stability. But the towers here, this person, yeah, the, you had to let go of this devil person. Toxic energy, the devil, Capricorn. You had to let go of this person. Strength Leo, you had to let go of this person. They're very toxic, uh, very low vibration energy. And you just putting work in on yourself, okay? Um, yeah, and this person is, um, this, this person's got a lot of anxiety and fear because you could be dealing with a Taurus or you could be going through some, put this person in some legal issues right now. Uh, you could be taking this person to court, making them pay you some kind of money, and they're feeling trapped like they can't do anything. Okay, they're feeling very trapped. Because of Three of Pentacles, you could have worked with this person, and, you know, you could have um, you could have been very compassionate towards this person, but you know what? You're going off on your own. You know, you could have started your own business, but you're moving forward on your own, uh, the Wheel of Fortune. You have Ace of Cups. You know, you're going towards this new passionate start. And uh, you got some kind of judgment. So, yeah, you're making a decision just to walk on past this and go forward. That's what you're using your intuition. You're using your intuition to go forward. Okay, six of wands. Uh, you could be a, a, somebody from a distance, but you're walking away from this person. Okay, you're letting them go. And, you know, you're at that crossroads. This person could be wanting to travel towards you because they see that you're going into opportunities. Okay. Um, yeah, they could be wanting to come in here and negotiate with you. Or, or try to get you to uh, change your mind about something because they see that you got good news coming in within your business or creativity and this person is stuck. But you let this person go, you cut them out and you're going to be independent and you're fixing to tell this person if you hadn't already. And you're going doing a lot of contemplating four swords, you're just doing some healing here. Six of Pentacles, yeah, you got some balance coming in, equal give and take. So yeah, uh, let me see. Let me clarify the devil here and the, the, the tower. We're fixing to go here in a minute, so go play. Clarify the devil in the tower for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Clarify the devil and the tower for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Clarify the tower, devil for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Yeah. 
Yeah, you went through a hard time with this person, Five of Pentacles. You was going through financial issues, but you know, you just done a lot of soul searching and you decided to let this person go. You're going towards a King of Pentacles or you're going towards your stability. You're doing this for your family. And this person is wanting to hold on to you. And this is their karma. You know, Five Pentacles, they're having a hard time and, and they're seeing you that you're going towards stability, okay? You're going towards stability and uh, you know, you got you got celebration. You're out here celebrating some kind of exciting, um, you know, exciting stuff that's going on there, you know. Yeah, you got exciting things coming in. This is about spirituality, your belief system. Join are on the same page. As far as belief system goes, what's the advice for Gemini Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of May? Advice for Gemini Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of May. Advice for Gemini Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of May. Advice for Gemini Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of May. You got the chariot cancer energy. It's like you're moving forward. You're making Yeah. You've been battling with this person. This could be legally, okay, because we have Taurus here. But, you know, you've been through a battle with this person. You've been through a spiritual lesson with this person. And you just, you ending this, Ten of Swords. You know, you're ending the backstabbing, the betrayal, and the sun. You're going towards success. You're just moving forward, right? And you're looking at your options. Um, yeah. Yeah, and you could have worked with this person or had a business. But, you know what? You're letting this go. And the emperor, you're bossing up. You got... Yeah, temperance, yeah, you're going to have um, Sagittarius energy. Uh, you got some kind of uh, money coming in. Your your stuff is going to bounce out. This person is going to come back and reconcile with you because they say that you are going towards stability and you're letting them go. They don't want you to let them go. They want to hold on to you because they're having a hard time right now. They get back home and losing some stuff. All right, Gemini, Sun, Rise of Venus for the month of May. Take action. Spirit is telling you to take action. On the bottom, it's telling you to remain positive. No need to worry. So you don't need to worry. And Spirit is letting you know that you're ready. You're ready to go out here and do this, and you're going towards opportunities, and that is affirmative, yes, within the next few months. And Spirit is telling you to meditate and talk to your angels, and that's a yes, too. You know, you're going towards a period of recovery, uh, emotional recovery. And, you know, it's just a time of forgiveness, you know. You need to trust and have faith um, and just be, you have a peaceful resolution. That's basically what it is. But um, you just need to stop worrying and, and take action. You know, take action with towards your health as well because I did see the health thing and take action towards your uh, business or job, whatever you're doing. You're taking action because uh, there is some kind of financial success coming in on that sector. So congratulations on that. Huh? So I hope that this helped y'all for whatever reason. If it doesn't, it's just general reading. It's not going to resonate with each and every Gemini. Take the part that resonates. Like I said, leave out what does not. Once again, everything you need to know about is in the description box below. If anybody like to donate to the channel or get a reading, all that is down there in the description box below. Please don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Thank you once again for all y'all ones that keep the like, share, subscribes. Uh, the ones that's, you know, helping me get my channel grow. I appreciate each and every one of you. Like I said, when I get to those thousand, I'm going to open up a couple of readings and give some free readings out for everybody as appreciation for me to get to those thousand subscribers. And so, yeah. So I will be back maybe mid-month and do another check-in with y'all and see what else is going on. But I hope that this helped you. And uh, I send you all peace, light, love. God bless each and every one of you. Bye, y'all.